Okay, in this video we're going to discuss how to create a probability density function out of any function that has a finite integral from negative infinity to infinity. I'm going to call this a scaling example. And actually I want to put that in text mode, not math mode. And I'll underline that. Okay, so I wish to have a random variable with possible values in the closed interval from 1 to 4. Yeah, if I wish the PDF to look like, and then I've already written out this function because it takes a little bit to um, to write it out, so let me get it pulled up here. Okay, I wish the PDF to look like this. Let me put that in a bigger font. Okay, I wish it to look like some constant times the natural log of x. And then, like I said, the possible values of x are going to be from 1 to 4, and then the PDF will be 0 for any values outside of that interval from 1 to 4. Now, if I graph this function, let's see, let's try this. Well, first of all, I need to specify, value, uh, specify a value for c. So what I do is I go ahead and press uh, let c equals 3. And again, this is just maple syntax here, as is this right here. And I press enter, and that draws a graph of my PDF for me. So it increases logarithmically from x equals 1 to x equals 4, and it's 0 elsewhere. This is a piecewise defined function. And here is the integral. Now for this particular case, I know the integral is going to be larger than 1 for the c equal to 3. Okay, so it wouldn't be a probability density function. It is non-negative for all values of x, but the integral is larger than 1 from negative infinity to infinity. And I know that because, for example, from 2 to 3, the function is always at least uh, natural log of 2. It's always bigger than 1. So the area here is definitely bigger than 1. What I want to do is I want to, let's get rid of this, I want to choose my um, constant C so that my PDF indeed integrates to 1, the integral from negative infinity to infinity. Oh, and I guess I've been using a subscript of X here, so let me put that on of f sub x of x dx okay, equals 1. Okay. So what I need to do is figure out what this interval is. And the way I'll do that is I will use Wolfram Alpha. Let's see. Let's just delete that, change back to text mode. I use Wolfram Alpha. to compute the integral from negative infinity to infinity of my PDF. Okay, and that's going to be equal to the integral from negative infinity. Actually, I can do this integral just from 1 to 4 since I know my PDF is 0 elsewhere. So from 1 to 4, let me change this limit to also have size 26. Okay, and on that interval, my PDF is C, C times the natural log of X. Okay, so I'm going to do that using Wolfram Alpha, and, and I want to integrate C times the natural log of X from x equals 1 to 4. I press enter. It's not going to give me a number because I have that constant 3. What it does do is it gives me a formula. And that's c times the log of 256 minus 3. 
So if I go back to Maple here, I know that this integral, actually why not just copy this whole thing, this integral is C times the natural log of 256 minus 3, and I now realize I need another parenthesis here. Okay. So if I want that to equal 1, well then what does that tell me about C? Well it tells me exactly what C should equal. I should let C equals 1 divided by the natural log of 256 minus 3. Okay. So, um, to define a PDF of this form, a probability density function that has possible values from 1 to 4, and the formula looks like this, then I just need to plug in this C value to get the formula for the PDF. So let's see if I take this expression and I put it in here. Let's make it a little smaller. Okay, there's my PDF. Okay, so for example, the probability that x is larger than 2, well that's going to be the integral of my PDF from 2 to infinity. Okay, which is the integral of this function. Let's see, I'm going to go ahead and paste that. Integral of this function from 2 to 4, since the PDF stops at 4. Okay, so I'm going to integrate this from 2 to 4. And again, I can do this integral using Wolfram Alpha, so I'll pull it up here. Let's go back home just so you can see things a little better. I'm going to integrate um, 1 divided by the natural log of 256 minus 3 times the natural log of x from x equals 2 to 4. And I should get a positive number less than 1. And sure enough, I do. I get this exactly, or the approximate result about 85%, or 0.85. Okay, so this is approximately uh, 0.85. Okay, so that's an example of how to take a function that has a finite integral of this form, or at least has a finite interval for a specified value of that constant, and then choose the constant so that it indeed is a probability density function. And we can use it, um, use it to evaluate probabilities for a continuous random variable like we've done here.